Hi everybody, Steve here at the final resting place, the crypt of country music legend Tammy Wynette. I can't believe that I'm actually here. It was worth coming to Tennessee, to Nashville, just to visit her final resting place. Any other fans out there? This is the Woodlawn Cemetery in Nashville. It's about, I believe, about 10 miles south of downtown Nashville. It's a really large cemetery, and there are dozens of famous people buried here, mostly country singers and pop singers and, you know, people you'd expect to find here in Nashville. It's often referred to as the Cemetery of Country Stars. There are so many laid to rest here that I think I'm going to divide this visit into two parts. And today I'm going to start my visit at the Cross Mausoleum, where quite a few of them are laid to rest. I guess it just depends on how long it takes me to find everyone that I'm hoping to see today. The mausoleum is located straight ahead at the end of this street after you enter through the front gate here. The mausoleum is located just to the right of the chapel, and these are the only two large buildings in the cemetery, so it's pretty easy to find. And right next to the mausoleum parking lot is the Lynn Anderson Memorial Rose Garden. Country singer Lynn Anderson's crypt is located inside, but you can remember her and her 1970 mega hit Rose Garden on your way in. They were so friendly at the desk and they provided me with a map here of all the celebrity grave sites and uh, crypts. And this is a huge mausoleum. It has uh, four, at least four floors and an elevator. And so I'm gonna go see who else I can find here. But I wanted to start with Tammy Wynette. Now it appears that a lot of the uh, performers and famous people here were friends. And right over here in the adjacent corridor is the crypt of singer and songwriter Liz Anderson, who is the mother of Lynn Anderson, whose memorial rose garden I just showed you on the outside of this mausoleum. She died from a heart attack here in Nashville, Tennessee on July 30th, 2015 at the age of 67. On the other side of this corridor facing Liz Anderson's crypt is the crypt of singer-songwriter Van Stevenson. I'm not really familiar with Van Stevenson, but he must be pretty popular still because I just heard one of his songs on the radio during this road trip. He sadly died at the young age of 47 from melanoma here in Nashville, Tennessee on April 8, 2001. While well, the person at the front desk was so helpful and even gave me a map to find Tammy Wynette's crypt, and actually there's dozens of, of famous people buried here in the cemetery and she gave me a map to all of their final resting places. Tammy Wynette is often referred to as the first lady of country music and her 1969 hit song Stand By Your Man is one of the most popular songs in country music history. Sadly she also died young. After suffering for years with various medical conditions she died in her sleep at the young age of 55 here in Nashville on April 6th 1998. And on a much lighter note, there's no way I can be here today without thinking about Brother Boy, the outrageous character played by actor Leslie Jordan in the movie and TV series Sorted Lives. He's a cross-dresser who's completely obsessed with Tammy Wynette in this hilarious send-up of a dysfunctional family from a small Texas town. And I'm guessing that this is a lipstick kiss that he left behind on his visit here. I wonder if Tammy had a sense of humor in what she would have thought of her biggest fan. So are any of you fans of Sorted Lives and Tammy Wynette? And for those of you who are wondering, I stopped here during my 2019 road trip last year, and I'm finally getting around to editing and sharing this visit with you. Since so many other YouTube vloggers visited this cemetery last year, I wasn't sure if any of you would want to see it again, so it moved down to the bottom of my list of priorities. But I still wanted to share it, even if I'm the only one who ends up watching it. Singer, songwriter, and actor Jerry Reed is also here right around the corner from Tammy Wynette. Reed had many hit songs during his career like Amos Moses, Guitar Man, When You're Hot, You're Hot, and of course Eastbound and Down, the theme song from the 1977 blockbuster hit movie Smokey and the Bandit. He appeared in more than a dozen movies and TV shows, but Smokey and the Bandit is probably what he's best remembered for. Reed died from emphysema in Nashville at the age of 71 on September 1, 2008. Singer and songwriter Otis Blackwell's crypt is also located here. He's probably best remembered for writing some of Elvis's biggest hits, Don't Be Cruel, All Shook Up, and Return to Sender. He died from a heart attack in Nashville at the age of 71 on May 6, 2002. And speaking of Elvis, 
Gordon Stoker, one of the members of the gospel group The Jordanaires, who provided background vocals for the King, is also laid to rest here. He died following a long illness at the age of 88 in Brentwood, Tennessee on March 27, 2013. And nearby in the same corridor or alcove as Little Jimmy Dickens is the final resting place of gospel singer and songwriter Dottie Rambo. Rambo was very prolific during her career and wrote more than 2,500 songs. Sadly, she died tragically in a bus accident at the age of 74 in Mount Vernon, Missouri on May 11, 2008. Little Jimmy Dickens was a country music singer and songwriter who got his start in 1948 on the Grand Ole Opry and is probably best remembered for his novelty songs. In 1965, he had a number one hit with the song May the Bird of Paradise Fly Up Your Nose. I was 12 years old at the time and I remember it well. It's funny when you think back to 1965 and remember that the Beatles were probably the most popular group in the world at that time and we were listening to songs from their Help album at the same time that we were listening to little Jimmy Dickens' song on the radio. Dickens died in Nashville from cardiac arrest at the age of 94 on January 2nd, 2015. And what a nice depiction of his life and career here on the front of his crypt. Isaac Hayes' grave in Memphis has something very similar, and so does actor Don Knotts in Westwood, California. But this is the first one I've seen indoors in a mausoleum. Hopefully we'll see more like this in the future. All of these crypts are located on the third floor. Up on the fourth floor, a little bit closer to the elevators, is the crypt of country music artist Tom Paul Glazer. Glazer is probably best remembered for his 1975 hit song, Put Another Log on the Fire. Following a long illness, he died here in Nashville at the age of 79 on August 13, 2013. All of the other famous final resting places that I'm here to see today are outside of the mausoleum in the various lawn sections. And there's quite a few, so I'll share them with you in part two of this vlog. For now, I just want to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel and helped it to grow over the past few years. I also want to thank my new Patreon and PayPal supporters. Cheryl Bag Hernijad, Robin Didier, Kim Mediard, David Hadley, and Stephanie Hawking and my existing Patreon supporters who just increased their pledges, Howard Morris and Sandra Millett. You are all just so incredibly generous, and it really does help make future trips like this possible. So until our next trip down memory lane together, which will be coming up soon in part two, happy travels, everyone.